my loves, my name is Sheree and welcome to my beauty, fashion, and lifestyle channel. In today's video, I am going to be beating my face. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so you're nice and close to my face. Hopefully it's not too close. Today, I am going for a darker look. Honestly, I should not be putting this on my face i should be putting it on my hand and then applying it to my face but <sighs> my bad <laughs> this is a primer by the way i use primers to keep my makeup intact it also allows my makeup to last just a little bit longer i think i put too much because there's a white cast <laughs> I look shiny. So the primer that I used is by NYX. It is called the Honey Do Me Up. And for the foundation, I'm using Max Match Master SPF 15 foundation in the color 8.0. And then I'm going to just pat it in with a brush. I still look very shiny. By the way, I already put my eyebrows on. You can probably already tell <laughs> they're a lot darker only because I knew I was going to put on dark makeup so I just wanted to make sure the eyebrows kind of matched the eye look that I was going for at this point I would typically move on to highlighting and contouring my face but being that I'm working with dark eyeshadows I want to start on the eyes right now I am just applying a eye primer and I like to use eye primers because I have oily eyelids the eye primer combats that oil and allows the eyeshadows to stay in place without creasing so I really really love using an eyeshadow primer and truthfully none of my eye makeup will work without it <laughs> I know I'm looking crazy you really need to trust the process okay trust the process We'll get there. So I'm going to clean up my eyebrows a little bit using a concealer. This is by NARS and it is in the color medium dark 3 Amande. So let's start putting some eye makeup on. I'm taking a matte brown eyeshadow and I am distributing that color heavily into my crease. This is going to act as the transition shade. When I'm dealing with darker colors, I always tend to start off light and then gradually get darker and darker only because it's easier to correct. I don't want to make any mistakes, so it's just easier for me to start off light and then add as I go on. You guys, please trust the process. It's probably looking so crazy right now, but the end results are going to be great. Trust me. And truthfully, that's the fun part about makeup and art in general. Even if you're like a painter, your canvas isn't going to start off looking spectacular, right? It's going to start off looking a little janky. But over time, as you add more color, add more texture, it becomes a beautiful work of art in the end. So that's how I like to think about my makeup. Now you're even closer to my face. Sometimes with black eyeshadow, they are not very pigmented at first. So what I'm going to do is take a black eyeliner and kind of just smudge that onto my eyelid and lash line this is going to act as a base for the eyeshadows to kind of like attach itself to and it'll give me that true deep black eyeshadow that i'm going for i truly do not suggest holding your eye like this you're trying to prevent premature wrinkles but you know for video purposes, that's what I'm doing. And then with my pinky, I'm gonna just try to smudge it a little bit. So now I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and just start tapping it onto 
my eyelid. And as I'm tapping, I'm also going to start pushing that black upward into the brown eyeshadow. We're trying to make a little bit of a gradient effect. We're gonna go from this deep black color to a reddish brown. I am going back and forth with my brushes as I'm pushing that black color into the crease. I want it to happen gradually. I want it to be blurred out. So I don't want any harsh lines. So I will be moving back and forth between a eyelid brush and a blending brush because blending is key. So the eye look isn't looking bad, but I think now I want to go back to my face and start concealing under my eyes because I need to see the look come together. So let's throw on some concealer, you know. I like to put my concealer just like right there. And as I'm blending it out, it kind of disperse to where I push it to. I like to use this Too Faced concealer in the color Chestnut. Have you guys ever heard of this one? It is a conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch concealer. I wanna try different colors. I wanna try a darker one for contouring. I wanna try a lighter concealer for brightening. So I gotta, I gotta look into this a little bit more. And I'm going to use a beauty blender, a damp, beauty blender to blend out the concealer. I already have a huge forehead, so it doesn't make any sense for me to be highlighting my forehead, but maybe I'm just a creature of habit. I'm gonna let the concealer under my eyes sit a little bit longer, but I'm gonna take this match stick by Fenty Beauty in the color Espresso. And I'm going to use that to contour my face. Contouring really helps me with my dome, you know? The forehead needs to be contoured for sure. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a brush and just start pushing that contour into my hairline, chopping off, you know, a few inches off my forehead. We're getting this jawline together, getting these cheekbones together. Yeah, we are beating this face today. Ooh, I love that. You guys can kind of see what I did, right? You see how it's like darker there and then we're gonna start blending that lighter color into the darker color. Love it! I'm going to blend that forehead in a little bit better because you can kind of still see that we want it to be blended. That looks a lot better. Time for the eyes. And sometimes the concealer leaves, you know, a little line on the face. So just taking my brush and blending that out. It's looking better. Trust the process, people. Trust the process the process. Blend this little nose contour out. I'm gonna push that into my brow bone. Whenever I'm using a liquid product, I always want to set it in place. So I am going to apply a translucent powder. So I'm going to apply my translucent powder on my concealer. Probably used too much just now. I really need to um, stop using too much. <laughs> That's my problem. Because truthfully, a little bit goes a long way. And the powder I am using is by Laura Mercier. And it is in the color Translucent Honey. And as you can see, it's also removing some of that shine. Sometimes my eyebrows get shiny. The T-zone gets shiny. So we're setting our face, but we're also canceling out a lot of the shininess. So the process is not complete yet. I think we need some bronzer. So I'm using a bronzer by 
Fenty Beauty. It is in the color Mocha Mame. And this is going to make that contour just stand out. Ooh, this makes you look like you have a tan. You were hanging out on somebody's beach, girl. Mm -hmm. I need to stop smiling because that's how I get the, the creases in my foundation. Stop smiling. That's why when you look at pictures and the girls are like, they don't want to crease their makeup. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why they're not smiling in their pictures. I like to use a different bronzer for my nose contour. The Fenty Beauty one is a little bit on the red side, so I go in with this one. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is in the color Mahogany. <laughs> and this is less red, so it's more of a neutral undertone. I think now I'm going to go back to the eyes and add some eyeliner to the lower lash line because we need some balance right so it's dark at the top add some of that darkness to the bottom and i don't want to add too much black under on my lower lash line but i'm going to add just a little just a little and right under that black i'm going to use some of that brown to kind of smoke it out make it look nice and blurred out yeah okay maybe we'll just do a little bit of blush all right maybe just a little bit just a little bit not too much yeah so i'm gonna keep it like that but i want to add some more drama to the eyes so i'm thinking if i should add a color should i add purple should i add green should i add pink yellow yellow i'll start off with a little bit and let's see what happens it's coming up for sure but i don't know if it's gonna really like shine on camera or stand out so i'm not sure if you can see the yellow i can see it but it's very faint so we're just gonna go with it we're not gonna add more because it can get a little chalky i'm using a brown lip liner this is Chestnut by MAC. This is pretty much my go-to lip liner, always. I'm thinking that I should go with more of a nude lip. Uh-oh, what are we doing? I don't know. Gotta trust the process. <laughs> Let's trust the process. Okay, that doesn't look bad. And I think I want to add just a little bit of gloss. Wow, I am loving the black. Too bad I can't do this every day. Wow, I really like this black eyeshadow. Let me know what you think about this makeup down in the comments section. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, share this video with someone who enjoys putting on makeup. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.